<laughs> You've seen the videos. This man is arresting me for my music. Heard the cries for help. You heard my power. Citizens scared, saying Euclid police are out of control. A national organization issuing a travel advisory for black people in Euclid. If we cannot count on the police to protect us, then where can we lay our trust? Now, Five on your side investigators have uncovered serious concerns about how often some Euclid police officers use force. Is that a red flag? Tonight, our exclusive Five on Your Side investigation, Red Flags, reveals the city's broken system. It leaves innocent people hurt and allows problem officers to keep patrolling the streets. Five on Your Side investigator Sarah Buddison has the findings from her six-month investigation. And Sarah, your team reviewed hundreds of reports. That's right. We spent months reviewing records from Euclid Police. We found serious red flags related to officers' use of force. When he kicked down the door, Melissa Highsmith, he picked me up and just slammed me onto the ground. Was terrified. I was slammed on my head, like, like bleeding from the back of my head. And confused. A person like that should not get to hold a position that he holds. It's scary. The man who broke down the door of her friend's apartment? A Euclid police officer. Daniel Ferrito claimed Melissa and her friend had run from him when they were outside a few moments earlier. That's when I started verbalizing, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I would never run from the police. Like, I want to be a police officer. She had even applied to a local department. And the next thing is when he grabbed me by both sides of my, um, my shirt. He slammed me on the ground. He said, you don't run from the police. Melissa's incident is among the 273 use of force reports over two and a half years Five on Your Side investigators spent months reviewing. A form officers must fill out every time they use any type of force from their fist to a taser to a gun. Almost immediately, a pattern emerged. The same officers' names again and again. Can I put some clothes on? James Aoki. This accused of assaulting this woman in her bath towel over a noise complaint. He has a total of 15 force reports. Shane Rivera, 24 reports, accused of beating up this man. His partner at the time, Michael Amiot. Oh, wow. You've seen him before. He just got his job back after being fired when this video of him punching a driver went viral. His total, 17 force reports, tallying it all up. We found just 20% of officers involved in more than 80% of incidents. When that situation occurs, that is a red flag for the organization. Jim Bierman is the president of the Police Foundation, a nonpartisan research group dedicated to improving policing. Somebody needs to be taking a very hard look at that. Shut the car up. I mean, you just don't treat people like that, man. Take what happened to Lamar Wright. It's just wrong. You hurt my car. He had pulled over to make a call when two men appeared at his car doors, guns drawn. He thought he was being carjacked. The two men? Taser deployment, taser deployment. Were Euclid police officers. Come on, get out, get out, lay on the ground now. He struggled to get out of the car. I was still in bad shape. Don't move. He just had stomach surgery. A colostomy bag was still attached to his side. I was using the arm thing to lift up because of my stomach was still open from the, uh, from the staples. Dude, I thought he had a gun. But Officer Kyle Flagg... Why the f*** are you reaching like that? ...was wrong. No, dude, you were reaching with your right hand. There was no gun. What should have happened that night? Not that. Not that. That incident, part of another troubling trend, we found just two officers filed 59 use of force reports. Their names, Daniel Ferrito and Kyle Flagg, the same officers accused of attacking Melissa and Lamar. And it's the obligation of the leadership of that organization to try to find out why that's occurring. Flagg alone filed 35 use of force reports, far more than any other officer. 
he's never faced serious discipline. The best practices in policing today indicate that you should take a look at what's going on with that officer's experience. Chief Meyer? Hi, I'm Sarah Buddison with News 5, and I've been trying to reach you. How are you this evening? Can you help us understand something? For weeks, Five on Your Side investigators tried to talk to Euclid's police chief, Scott Meyer. When he ignored our calls and emails, we caught up with him at this city council meeting. Why do we keep seeing Daniel Frito and Kyle Flagg's names on your use of force forms? Uh, that's something that we could talk about at a later time. We asked if he was concerned. Is that a red flag? I wouldn't necessarily say it's a red flag. Why not? There's many other variables that are in play. We also asked why just a handful of his officers account for almost every use of force. Isn't that a red Didn't flag? Didn't I just tell you? It's Isn't not that, that I don't have a flag? comment. I don't have a comment for you. The trouble could be training. In a lawsuit, a federal judge criticized Euclid for its, quote, blasé attitude toward excessive force training. Like this cartoon showing an officer striking an unarmed man. Have you ever been face to face with a police officer? And showing officers this Chris Rock video. If you have to get a finger ride, get a white print. A satirical skit about police beating up black people. There is a, a clear problem with their, their, their training. To spark action, Melissa filed a federal lawsuit. I think they need to kind of revamp their entire police department. I just wish this don't happen to no one else. So did Lamar and four others, all alleging excessive force. And no one uh, above God, no one. Like, I'm going to think about this and have to deal with this for the rest of my life. Her plans to become a police officer on hold, a result of the incident that still haunts her. I just feel like I can't trust police officers. Six federal lawsuits the city's facing, five ongoing, could eventually cost taxpayers millions. Tonight, Euclid's mayor sent us a statement saying, in part, her goal is to, quote, continuously upgrade and improve the police department. They've implemented a use of force committee and reached out for help from the Department of Justice with training. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Sarah Buddison.